Hey guys, it's Kayla from Killing It With Coupons and here is my Jewel Osco haul for you guys this week. So this week I didn't do any meat deals or produce deals. Um, my other grocery stores had that cheaper for this week so I kind of just did a little grocery shopping stuff this week um, and a lot of it had to do with rebates or else the My Mix. I only used one manufacturer coupon this week and it was an insert coupon. Other than that, there was a deal for um, some shampoos and conditioners from um, Garnier. However, they didn't um, have them tagged correctly and I was a little bit hesitant about doing it um, and so instead I am just gonna wait it's actually for the whole month I talked about it in my list video um, but basically the Garnier whole blends or the fruit teas which the fruit teas is what I could not find the whole blends were marked the fruit teas were not and I couldn't figure out which ones uh, which ones were included and how to work the deal out so basically they're 350 each on sale however again the Garnier was 349 regular price so I wasn't totally sure if that meant that they were included in the sale still or what was going on but when you spend $15 you'll get $5 off again that is uh, pretty much through the whole month I think it's up until like the last week of March or something and so again when you buy the spend the $15 you'll get the $5 off and since they're 3 dollars each you're gonna want to buy five and what you can do is use four of the um, whole blends or else the fruities coupons and then one of the other or you could mix and match kind of however you want if you want to do three of one two of the other um, but they are a limit of four like coupons so you'd have to somehow do that uh, you know mix and match again in the end after the coupons if you use five of those coupons and also with the sale the five dollars off of 15 that will come off instantly they will work out to be 250 for five or else uh, 50 cents each. So that would be a really great deal. If I can't figure out if they're, those ones are on sale or not, what I might just do is buy five of the whole blends and only use four of the coupons. That would still be 450 for five, which is under a dollar a bottle is still a really good price. Um, but since I wasn't totally sure again, I just decided not to do it for this week and I'll go ahead and check back next week. So that is just one little deal again that I wanted to let you guys know about um, that you guys can check out at your store and it just depends again because I didn't see them tagged or marked. I wasn't totally sure. So I'm just going to wait and kind of hang around and see what's going on for next week. The deal will still roll um, Roll over into next week and then also to the coupons the fruities coupons expire this week um, or by next Saturday the whole blends don't expire until I think the Saturday after that or like Wednesday or something and we did also get new coupons in this past Sunday's insert so you guys could really do it however you want to do it like I said just with those fruities I didn't see where they were tagged and if they would ring up correctly um, or it be included in the sale so I'm just gonna wait and you know hang around see what's going on but that is one little deal I wanted to let you guys know about the rest of the stuff for this week that I picked up would have totaled $72.98. I paid $38 even plus tax and saved $34.98. Now I got back a total of $10.60 and one of those was from my bonus. Um, I think it was the Weekend Warrior bonus. For me, it was when I redeemed any three Ibotta rebates, I would get um, $2 back. So that was an additional $2 because I did have three unique rebates in this haul. So I'll share that with you guys. But my my net cost for all of these items ended up costing only $27.40, which I think is pretty good because I did a big stock up deal on the bounty and got some other little odds and ends here and there that were um, ended up being cheaper than even if I would have went to Aldi and picked up some of these things. So I'll start off with the first deal for this week, which was on the bounty. Now this is part of the three day sale. It's on sale for $8.88 and there is a dollar my mix coupon that does expire today, which is Saturday. Um, and so if not, you guys are going to have to use the printable coupons. There are some dollar off printable coupons that um, are still good. I, I believe I do have a link to it on my blog, but I think it might be under like a Rite Aid post or something like that. But those will end up costing $7.88 for a eight giant rolls or like a 12 regular rolls, which again, I thought wasn't too bad of a price. And um, I decided to go ahead and stock up on that. I use the MyMix. Again, that will be expiring. By the time you guys see this video, it will already be expired unless it resets. That is the 
deal for that than the Arm & Hammer detergent. Now this is the big 50 count. They do have some I think with like OxyClean as well, um, which is a little bit smaller. I think it's like 36, but this one, which was the bigger bottle um, for free sensitive skin, it's free of dyes and perfumes, um, was $2.99 and there is a dollar MyMix coupon as well, which will take off, make it $1.50. I believe there's also dollar either insert or printable coupons as well, which would make those the same. Again, I just picked up one and used one MyMix coupon. So it was $2.99 and I thought for the big 50 count load or whatever it was for a, uh, you know, two bucks was a pretty good price. On to the Chips Ahoy. This is part of the three day sale as well. These are $1.88. There are 75 cent off two coupons in the 129 smart source, I believe. Um, I know it came from the 129 and I did not use that coupon because I forgot to get my newspapers that weekend. Just the coupons, however, this still worked out to be a really good deal for me because my Ibotta had 25 cents off any cookies. So I got 25 cents back from that and there's also a dollar 20 off um, from checkout 51 when you buy two. So for me, these worked out to be, I believe like a dollar 16 or so each. If you do have that 75 cent coupon, these will work out to be under a dollar each, which is a really good price for cookies. Again, that is only for the three day sale. Now the Kellogg cereal, these are on sale for 199 and there is a dollar off to my mix as well. I used that and got the dollar off of two. The sale and the my mix don't pair up perfectly. There's a couple included in the sale that's not included on the coupon. I know that the Apple Jacks and the Fruit Loops specifically were. I think like uh, Frosted Flakes might have not been on the coupon. So just make sure that you guys are getting the right one that pairs up with the sale because not all the ones that are on sale will be valid with the coupon. It might not take off depending on what you buy, but I bought one Apple Jacks and one Fruit Loops and it took off a dollar, making those $1.49 each. Then I went ahead and picked up two of these little toothpicks. These are 25 cents each, so I ended up spending 50 cents on these. These are 250 counts they're on the back of the ad for I think it's like the this quarters or something like that cash in your quarters um, and so these just ended up being 50 cents and I noticed they were on sale and I noticed too that we are almost out of toothpicks which we don't really use that often so I thought not a bad time to go ahead and pick these up since they were on sale the pasta sauce over here the signature kitchen is also on the back part of that um, you know cash in your quarters it is a dollar and I had 25 cents off of any um, pasta sauce from Ibotta as well. So I got 25 cents back for that and that was 75 cents. I thought not bad for one jar of pasta sauce. Now the bread over here, the Signature Kitchen bread is a double dip. I think it's also part of that cash in your quarters or whatever it's called, but it is a dollar and there's also 25 cents back from Ibotta on any bread. So I went ahead and got that back. I also got 10 cents back from Moby Save. I used to have Moby Save on my phone. However, when I got my new phone, I didn't have any of the apps and I just re-downloaded it. So that's why I haven't been using it but there was 10 cents back on any bread. So this ended up costing me only 65 cents for one loaf of bread, which is a really good price that's cheaper than all these, which is 85 cents. These Ken's dressing are also a really good deal this week. They are part of the Monopoly bonus ticket item. Um, so I got bonus tickets back for these and they are $3.49. Now they're on sale, buy one, get one free. So one will be $3.49, the other will ring up as free. There is also a 75 cent off my mix coupon. So I stacked that coupon and got the 75 cents off. I ended up paying about $2.75 for these and then I got back a dollar off of two from Moby Save as well, which ended ended up costing me under a dollar like 80 something cents or so for these. There's also I think 75 cent off printables which you could most likely use as well. I ended up paying that 80 something cents or so under a dollar for each of these which isn't too bad of a price and getting a little bit of ranch dressing and stocking back up. Deal over here on these Quaker Chewy Snack Witches. Snack Witches? Anyways, these are a dollar 99 and there is a dollar back from Checkout 51. So I did this deal twice because it is a limit of two at least it was on my account. So I was able to pick up two of these and I got them for both 99 cents each. As far as I know, there's no manufacturer coupons to stack with these. There are some on the different um, Quaker items that are on sale this week. I think it's like on the oat squares and oatmeal possibly. There is a dollar off to manufacturer's coupons. So you guys could do that and get those for a dollar 49. However, again, I saw this deal and decided to go ahead and buy two of these and I'll get $2 back from checkout 51. Now up onto the Chobani deal for this week. Um, first off, I'll start with these. Now this is actually the Chobani drink. This is the free 
Saturday sampler. So these are $1.67 and you'll get $1.67 off with the My Mix as long as you have the coupon loaded and you can get it for free. Now the reason I picked up two, which you don't actually really need to even pick up two, should get the dollar back from Ibotta. Um, there's a dollar back on any Chobani drink and it will end up being um, free plus a money maker. I decided I was going to go ahead and pick up two and with the other one ended up costing me 67 cents, which is really 67 cents for two or about 33 34 cents each um, which I thought was a really great price and I'm gonna try and pair these up with my breakfast for this week and the Chobani flips these are on sale this week for one dollar I ended up picking up three of these and there's a dollar off of three my mix coupons so I used that and ended up paying two dollars for them there's also a 50 cents off of two I bought a rebate so these ended up costing me a dollar fifty for three or fifty cents each which is a really good price for these like whole milk yogurts hauls these are on sale for two dollars each I ended up picking up two and this is where I use my one dollar manufacturer coupon it was a dollar off of two i believe from the 212 red plum possibly i know it was from the 212 which was last week's paper and um, i ended up paying three dollars and then i got a dollar 20 back from checkout 51 which made these 90 cents each and my brother has actually been sick this past week so um he has almost used up a whole bag so i decided it would actually be a nice time to go ahead and pick up some more of these and at 90 cents too is not a bad deal now on to these Laura bars this week. These are on sale for a dollar. I picked up four of them. The way I did this was um, I used a $2 or 50 cents off of two My Mix coupon, which took 50 cents off. And then with the other two, I will get 50 cents back from Saving Star on two. Since the Saving Star is a manufacturer coupon, you can't stack it with the My Mix, but I instead I ended up buying four, so I used two with the My Mix and then two with the Saving Star. So these ended up being 75 cents each, which is pretty good, especially since these are like the non-GMO Laura brands. I went ahead and picked up four of those, which is even cheaper too than being 75 cents each or three bucks for all four. It was cheaper to actually go ahead and get the individual bars and pair it up that way. The Luna bar this is actually the same deal as last week and these were a dollar on sale they are a dollar i think until like i think around until the end of march they're on sale for a dollar and there's 25 cents back from ibotta and so i got that back and this was also 75 cents so all of the bars the five bars that i picked up this week were 75 cents each and this ended up getting me um with the luna bar and then the chobani flip and then also the chobani drink i got three unique rebates so i got that two dollar bonus for my weekend warrior for my bottom. Uh, this little Hormel Rev wrap, um, I picked up just one this week for my dad because he came along with and I thought it would be a nice little treat. I noticed the deal for it too and decided to go ahead and just pick one of these up. They're on sale for $1.50 and there's 50 cents off my mix coupon. So this ended up being a dollar. I know sometimes these are a little bit cheaper, but I just decided to go ahead and pick one up this week to treat my dad since he's helping me out by going to the grocery stores with me and making it a little bit easier for me to try and get all this stuff. So this this week for my Monopoly, I ended up getting back a total of 18 tickets and I think nine of them or something like that were actually for like 50 cents off um, coupons and then I got three instant winners. So my instant winners for this week was on the Signature Salt. I also got one for the McCormick Taco Seasoning and also for the Signature Kitchen Pasta. So those I'm going to go ahead and pick up next week and um, see if there's any other deals too with the 50 cents off coupons that I got. Again, I got several different ones for a lot of different products. So make sure you guys are checking your Monopoly coupons because you guys could get some instant winners or also some other valuable coupons. And so I think that is it for my jewel haul for this week. I'll share with you guys my receipt. So you guys can see up at the top that is the Bounty and then the My Mix underneath that. Arm and Hammer detergent and the My Mix underneath that. The Chips Ahoy and then the Kellogg's uh, cereal. The toothpicks and then the other Kellogg's cereal and the My Mix underneath that. The pasta sauce, the bread, the Ken's and then underneath that is the My Mix mix as well and then down here these were the Quaker bars um, for dairy the Chobani the drinks and then also the my mix and then the other Chobani and then the Chobani flips and then also the my mix underneath down here was the hauls and then also the Laura bars and as you guys can see there the 50 cents my mix coupon and the other ones and then also the Luna bar underneath there and then the Hormel wraps for $1.50 the my mix coupon my $1 manufacturer coupon on 
the hauls underneath that I ended up paying $38 even after tax of $39.81 I saved $34.98 like I said I also ended up getting back in total $10.60 for everything so my net cost was $27.40 which I think is a really good price for doing some stock up stuff and just some other various grocery items for this week so that's it for me if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I will see you guys all next week so bye guys